last week's sham election, as others have already pointed out. But having watched personally Mr. Rouhani's approach when he was head of the nuclear negotiations now some 10 years ago, I know his objectives are the same objectives as those of his predecessor, and that is to continue the quest for nuclear weapons. He knows how to play the West, and he will continue to play the West, and he will do it well until the West realizes that it is a fantasy in terms of him being a reformer. This disguise must not be allowed to provide more time to complete the remaining steps, the few remaining steps, before Iran can have a nuclear weapon. The mullahs have preser preser pursued negotiations as a game, and they have won. They have gained over a decade of time to pursue the program. From my experience, what stands out is the enormous, the enormous value that the mullahs place on nuclear weapons, because such weapons will allow them the confidence to pursue their aggressive agenda in Syria and beyond without fear of consequence. This is a regime without legitimacy. It is a regime that is despised by its own citizens. As, well, as with all authoritarian governments, the people of Iran are the greatest threat to the survival of the regime. And it's also why regime change is the only sound policy. Appeasement and accommodation will not work. The murderous attacks on the defense, defenseless civilians at Camp Liberty reflect the mullah's fears of the resistance movement represented here today. Under the leadership and wisdom of Madame Rajavi, you are the ones who will play the central role in achieving the objective of all of us who support democracy and human rights in Iran. It's a privilege to join forces with you in your cause of freedom. Thank you very much, and God bless you.